Hi everyone! In this step-by-step -step tutorial video I show you how I connect ChatGPT to Instagram, Facebook and WhatsApp. I'll be using a tool called ManyChat and you can follow along step-by-step -step and build this together with me. So let's jump right in! Alright, here we are on ManyChat.com and we are going to make a new account. For this demo I'm going to assume that you already have a Facebook and an Instagram account. If not, you can easily create them for free on facebook.com and on the Instagram smartphone app. And for WhatsApp, you don't even need an account because we will generate a new number inside the app. So what we'll be starting with is just creating a ManyChat account. To do that, we can just go here and click on Get Started. And now, because we will generate a certain type of messenger first, like let's say an Instagram ChatGPT integration, it makes sense for us to also log in with that particular account. So it's already the right one. And we can just click here on Instagram and connect it automatically. And in my case, it now forwarded me directly through the login to my account page because I did that before. You might need to do a few authentication steps, but the process will guide you through step by step. And in the end, you'll also come to this site. All right, once we are here, we'll need to connect to our chosen social media channel. And we're just going to start with Instagram and do Facebook and WhatsApp afterwards. To do that, we need to go here on the left side in the settings. And here we can choose Instagram. And potentially, if you chose Instagram as your login option, it's already connected. But if not, you can select connect here and connect. And as you see, as easily as that, it was connected. And now if I go to the settings and select Instagram again, you'll see my account is connected and available to be used here. The next thing that we do is we go here to the automations tab and we'll start by creating a new automation. You see, we have quite a lot of templates here, but what we are going to do here is just start with a new blank page from scratch. All right, and as you see here, the first thing we should do is add a new trigger. And for Instagram, we have quite a few here. For example, user clicks an Instagram ad or user clicks a referral link. But the one that I choose here is this one user sends a direct message with a keyword because this is very easy to control and to test. So let's select this and as a keyword we can for example say Instagram chat GPT and we can of course use more realistic keywords if we actually deploy that but for testing purposes this is good enough and we create the trigger and here we are. And the first thing we want to do here is to test if that actually works and to do that, we'll here create a new flow and create an Instagram message. And we can just type something like hello world to test this at first. And so at this point, we can set it live. And now let's jump over to Instagram to see if that actually works. All right, so here we are on Instagram chatting with the account where we just uploaded this automation. And one thing you need to make sure is that you are not chatting with that account from itself because you can actually do that on Instagram, but you need to log into a secondary account or use a friend's account to actually check if that automation works. And so what we can now do is just type that text that we specified like Instagram chat GPT and send it. And once we do that, we'll receive the answer that we specified in the chatbot as easily as that. And with that done, let's jump back to ManyChat and now add some AI magic to that whole thing. All right, here we are back in ManyChat. And before we get into building the chat GPT integration, we need to do three things. The first one is to activate our free trial because integrating ChatGPT actually requires the pro version, which in theory costs $15 per month. But luckily we can use it 14 days totally for free. So just activate that and try it out and make sure to cancel the subscription before the 15 days so you will never get charged. 
Then the second thing we need to do is that we need to generate some fields or variables where we can store the input and output for ChatGPT. And for that we go here in the settings and we scroll down and here under automation we have fields. And for that we can create new user field. I already have AI input and AI output here but I'll show you how to make new ones. For example, in this case, I could name it GPT input and this we can all leave empty. It's a user field and click create. And that's as fast as it is. And then also we do the same process once more and this time just use GPT output and create it. And this step is also done. And now the third step that we also need to do as a preparation is we need to go down here to extensions and choose integrations. And here we'll need to connect to the ChatGPT account. And to do that, we'll need the OpenAI API key. And we get that from the website called platform.openai.com slash API dash keys. And I usually just find that by Googling OpenAI API key whenever I need one again. And then once we are in this menu, you can just create a new one and call it ManyChat. And then this cryptic number that you get after you click here, create secret key is what you can copy. And then over here back in ManyChat, you can just paste it in and save it. And of course, don't share it with anyone. All right, and once that is also done, we are now all ready to integrate ChatGPT into Instagram. For that, let's go back to automation and create a new automation. Again, we are starting from scratch and we'll choose the same trigger as before. So here, let's use the keyword magic just to have something different. All right, then the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to clear the input and output fields because we need these variables and we don't want some old random values floating around there. And to do that, we'll choose actions here and we'll add an action and we need this here, clear user field. And it's here for me because I just used that, but you can also find it here under contact data and then select it here, clear user field. And what we are actually going to clear is the GPT input. And we're also going to do exactly the same thing again and do that also for the GPT output. And so now we can start with a blank slate. Then the next thing is we need to actually ask the user to type a question because remember they will get in here by typing magic and expect some kind of response. It's not that they just type magic and the question together or magic and then a separate message with the question, but they would want to get a prompt and then answer to that. And so for that purpose, we are now going to add a Instagram message. We are going to use the user input field here and remove this uh, text field. And we are just going to ask them to prompt a question. And the response that they are giving us, we can save it here in this field and we'll type GPT input because that's exactly what this should be. And next we'll use this input and hand it over to ChatGPT to actually give us an answer. And for that, we select actions here and add a new action. And we already have it here, make request, but if it's not here for you, you can go in the left menu here and choose ChatGPT. And here there is only one option, which is the one that we choose. Then I'm going to select 3.5 Turbo, so we can just get a cheap response. And for better ones, you can of course select four, but it's more expensive. And here in the system prompt, we'll go to these curly brackets on the bottom right and then we can just use the custom user field GPT input, which is what the user is just typing in before. And we want to then have it processed and in the end we store it in the field GPT output. And we save and that should already work. 
Now we want to make sure we actually have an answer and if there is no answer, we want to apologize to the user and make sure there is still a message getting to him. And to make sure we can differentiate if we have an answer or not, we are going to add a condition and that condition is the custom user field GPT output and we are going to check if it is unknown. And if it is actually unknown, that means we didn't get an answer from here. And in that case, we can write a message and say something like, sorry, I can't answer your question. And then we can even repeat the question once more. So the user feels more understood in the sense that the question is repeated. And then we can still ask, would you like to ask another question? And we can offer the option yes. And we can offer the option no. And in the other case, if ChatGPT output is not unknown, that means we were successfully getting an answer. And so in that case, we'll also show a message. But in this case, we want to show the actual answer, which we find here in the variable GPT output. And then we can also ask if the user would like to ask another question. And we also offer the options yes and the option no. And then if the user actually wants to ask another question, we can route back here to the uh, first action where we clear the input and output. So we start again with a clean slate and we do the same thing up here where we also ask that same question. And if the answer is no, then we can just send a goodbye message to the user and make sure that he is greeted again in the end. So for example, thanks, see you next time, for example. And we also connect this here. And once we are done, we need to press update here on the top right. And now we are ready to test this whole thing again. But in this case, we are not going to the web app because actually the Instagram web chat doesn't know how to deal with these buttons, yes or no. So we need to do this in the app. So let's jump over there. Here is our Instagram chat. So let's type in the word magic that we specified earlier and start this automation. Great. Now we can ask a question, for example, what is the capital of Switzerland and send. And a second later, we get the answer with the option to ask more questions or not. Let's try that as well. Let's say yes. And let's also ask what is the coolest city of Switzerland. And a short moment later, we get that it's often considered to be Zurich and so on and so forth, which I probably agree with. But anyways, that's not the point here. You see it works. And if we end the chat by pressing on no, then we'll get the greeting to say goodbye. And that was how we can integrate ChatGPT in Instagram with ManyChat. Next, let's see how we can do the same easily with Facebook and WhatsApp. And we don't even need to start from scratch, but we can just copy our work that we already did here for Instagram. And to do that, we first need to connect ManyChat with Facebook and also with WhatsApp. And we can do that again here in the settings. And in the settings, we go here to Messenger and you just click the connect button here and you will be guided through everything. If you want to connect it to WhatsApp as well, you go here and you'll get the option to connect it with your own number or to purchase a new number. For example, I got a new US number here, which costs 66 cents a month. And you'll also be guided through everything right here on this page. It's really easy and straightforward. So I'm not going to redo it here, but if you get stuck with this, feel free to ask a question in the comments down below and I'll try my best to help you. Great. 
Now, once we have set up Messenger and WhatsApp in ManyChat, we can go back to our Instagram automation that we just created, which is here under automation. And here we hover over this automation. So these three dots become visible. We click on them and then we can select converge channels and we select our channel here, like for example, Facebook, we duplicate and convert. And you see it's slightly messed up, but we can just move this over here and then it looks fairly okay. And then the only thing that we still need to do here is to choose a new trigger. So for example, the same that we used in Instagram before is a direct message with a keyword. So we can also choose that here. And again, I'm just going to choose the keyword magic here that we had before. I'm going to create it. And then lastly, we also need to set live here. And already now we have the automation also ready on Facebook. Let's go to that Facebook page and try it out. Here I am on the page that I just made and I'm going to click message here and I'm just going to type magic. And as you see, we have exactly the same interaction that we had on Instagram before. So what is the capital of Austria? And in this case, the buttons actually work in the browser chat. So no need to use the smartphone to test this. And we can also select no. And that was it. And lastly, let's do the same also for WhatsApp. To do that, we once again go back to ManyChat. We go to the automation here and we can select either the Facebook chat we just opened or the Instagram chat from before. We also click on these three dots here, converge channels. And this time we just select WhatsApp and we duplicate and convert. Same as last time, we need to fix the trigger here. So let's click at plus new trigger. And in WhatsApp as well, we can just start the interaction with a keyword. And let's also use magic and create it. And then once more, we just need to set it live such as here and then go to our WhatsApp and in WhatsApp, I can just type our keyword magic again and you see the exact same interaction starts. What is the capital of Germany? And here we also get the answer that is Berlin. We can ask another question. What is the coolest city of Germany? <laughs> and here we get a more vague answer, but we get Berlin, Hamburg, Munich and Cologne, which are all the big cities. What a diplomatic answer. But anyways, not the topic here. So you see, it basically works exactly the same on Instagram, Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp. And you can also do it on Telegram and other services that are supported by ManyChat. Great. And now you know how you can connect ChatGPT with Instagram, Facebook Messenger and WhatsApp. If you try implementing this and come across any problems or uncertainties, feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll try to help you. And otherwise, let me know if you have any other topic that you think I should cover. I'd really appreciate that as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.